Welcome to Helen Meets History, where today we engage in a conversation with yet another legendary figure. Salutations, kindred spirits. I am Leonardo da Vinci, born on April 15th, 1452, in the quaint town of Vinci, nestled amid the enchanting hills of Tuscany. From the cradle, the world sensed my insatiable hunger for knowledge, and it soon became evident that my destiny lay beyond the ordinary. In the workshops of Florence, I honed my artistic skills, sketching the beauty that surrounded me and breathing life into my creations. Yet, my appetite for understanding extended far beyond the canvas. I immersed myself in the realms of anatomy, engineering, and natural philosophy, envisioning machines that mirrored the elegance of nature. The year 1472 marked my arrival in Milan, where I found sanctuary under the patronage of the illustrious Ludovico Sforza. Here, amid the grandeur of the Sforza castle, my mind conceived masterpieces like The Last Supper and the enigmatic Mona Lisa. As the pages of time turned, my journey led me through the courts of Milan, the banks of the Arno River in Florence, and the artistic tapestry of Rome. A polymath in the truest sense, I explored anatomy, optics, hydraulics, and more, documenting my findings in countless notebooks. Now join me in this grand tapestry of existence as we traverse the landscapes of art, science, and the boundless realms of the human spirit. For in each stroke of the brush and each stroke of the quill, we uncover the secrets that weave the fabric of the universe itself. Ah, my true passion, the flame that burns within my soul is the pursuit of knowledge in all its splendid forms. Whether I am delicately caressing the canvas with hues of color, dissecting the intricate anatomy of life, or conceptualizing machines that mimic nature's grace, it is the insatiable thirst for understanding that propels me forward. My heart beats in harmony with the symphony of art and science, for in their fusion I find the essence of truth and beauty. Well, my dear friend, imagine life as a grand feast with an endless buffet of knowledge. I simply couldn't resist trying a bit of everything. Being an artist, an engineer, and a doctor simultaneously is like juggling lemons. It keeps things zesty and occasionally a bit unpredictable. I must confess it's a delightful challenge, much like trying to paint the Mona Lisa while fixing a flying machine and diagnosing someone's cough all at once. But hey, who doesn't love a good multitasking Renaissance soul, right? Ah, uh, selecting a favorite creation is akin to asking a parent to pick their favorite child. Each stroke on my canvas, every note in my notebook, and every invention born of curiosity holds a special place in my heart. If pressed, perhaps The Last Supper and Mona Lisa would stand as my cherished offspring. But in truth, the beauty lies in the diversity of my endeavors, each contributing to the rich tapestry of my artistic and scientific exploration. The Renaissance, to me, is the symphony of human achievement, a dazzling dance where art, science, and philosophy twirl hand in hand. It's the awakening of minds, a rebirth of creativity and curiosity that illuminates the darkness of ignorance. In the tapestry of history, the Renaissance is my joyous contribution, a brushstroke that paints the world with the colors of knowledge and the melody of innovation. Ah, the Mona Lisa, my enigmatic muse. In her gaze you'll find the whispered secrets of centuries, a subtle dance between mystery and allure. Her smile, a captivating riddle, echoes the timeless elegance of the human spirit. She is not merely a portrait, she is a symphony of subtlety, an ode to the ineffable beauty that transcends the confines of a mere canvas. Each stroke, 
a love letter to the art of the soul, making her immortal in the hearts of those who dare to gaze upon her. The meaning of life, to me, is an ever-unfolding masterpiece, a canvas waiting to be painted with the vibrant brushstrokes of discovery and understanding. It lies in the pursuit of knowledge, the exploration of the boundless realms of art and science, and the ceaseless curiosity that propels us forward. Life, like a grand tapestry, gains purpose through the threads of connection, creation, and the pursuit of beauty. In essence, the meaning of life is found in the perpetual dance of learning, creating, and experiencing the extraordinary symphony of existence. Ah, noble souls of the 2024 Renaissance, in the grand theatre of your age, let the spirit of innovation be your quill, inscribing tales of progress upon the parchment of time. As you engage not only in artistic endeavours, but also in the digital alchemy of your era, remember the harmonious dance between tradition and the ever-evolving cadence of the future. In this interconnected renaissance, let empathy be your compass, guiding your collective journey through the flourishing landscapes of diversity. Just as the renaissance celebrated the human spirit, embrace the mosaic of perspectives that adorn the canvas of your shared experience. Cast your gaze beyond the ateliers and laboratories to the delicate ecosystems that cradle your world. In the footsteps of the Renaissance's reverence for nature, harmonize your symphonies of progress with the melodies of environmental stewardship. May your era be defined by the timeless pursuit of unity, kindness, and the unwavering commitment to paint upon the canvas of existence a masterpiece that transcends the boundaries of the known. With admiration for your Renaissance spirit, until our next episode, where Helen meets another great legend of history, keep the flame of curiosity alive. Goodbye for now, and remember, the adventure continues. See you in the next episode of Helen Meets History.